so hello guys in this video the lecture one uh, we are going to see how we can create a splash activity so let's just get started so before going into splash activity first what we have to do is we have to create our the very first project with which we are going to work on this whole this video series so go to new project and click on empty activity select next you can name your application according to your choice now you can give all these documentations now click on use android legacy support and uh, you can keep the SDK accordingly as per your want as per your choice I will continue with Android 5.1 go ahead and click on finish now I have already created this one my app name is e-commerce app and this one so I will work on this one uh, in the whole of this video series and whole of these tutorials so first of all what we have to do is we have to go to the themes because we want to select the theme accordingly as per our convenience so what we'll do is uh, we'll change the theme here but before changing the theme first go to colors and so first we'll define our color as per our show source so this is kind of orange which we want to keep which i personally want to keep so so yeah not really orange kind of yellow so this is what our color is so let's uh, just move to our theme.xml and change this color orange change this color as well to the orange and keep the color as it as white okay now if we see this activity main.xml so we can see that this has been successfully seen we can see that this is in yellow color kind of so what for in this lecture we are going to see how we can create a splash screen so first uh, what we have to do is we have to create a new empty activity so create a new empty activity and name this as After the splash activity has been created just go to the activity underscore splash layout and first of all what we have to do is uh, we have to uh, put this this uh, we have to remove this action bar so and also we have to uh, get rid of this constraint layout so first let's do that first get rid of this constraint layout and make this relative layout and here let's first define an image view because we have to use the icon so first image view and it will be wrap content wrap content for now and we will also define our source so i'll just copy the icon so i've copied the icon you can see this here in the travel part cards.png so let's uh, write that so we can see this we have successfully imported our icon now what we have to do is change this to 120 dp change this to 120 dp you can keep it according to your convenience we have to put this in the center so what we'll do is uh, we will lay out or simply write centering parent as true so we can see that uh, this has been successfully came in the center now centering parent is true so now we can give a text view as uh, per our choice uh, so as to give a name so give it a text view this will be wrap content wrap content and uh, we can keep the text as text as anything for example our e-commerce app all rights this is just to look at more official and uh, align this text in the bottom so first of all centering parent make this as a true as well and uh, align parent bottom make this as well true so we can see that this has came in the bottom part here now change the text color to this one 626262 it's kind of gray color now it's completely depend on you what you want to keep uh, now we have uh, given this now it is we can see that this is completely attached to the base so we'll get some padding so let's padding be 20 dp so we can see that this is kind of good now no worry we will remove this action bar that's not a big deal now what we have to do we have to go to splash activity here and we will 
set the timer so new handler and what post delayed and we'll pass the runnable here public void run now this run method is executed once the splash screen or once the timing is over whatever the time which we are going to give that time uh, it is over so that runnable is executed at that time so let's see more okay you don't have to copy this let's just see this thing so we will give an intent we are on the slash activity and we have to send the user to main activity all right and we have to start the activity which is the i and we have to finish the activity as well so uh, in this we will only see how to create a splash screen so no worry there is a lot of stuff to coming up and we can give the timer here 3000 represents the time uh, for example if you want to delay it for 3 seconds or show the splash screen for 3 seconds so 3 3000 okay, 5 seconds and 5000 and accordingly according to your choice so this is uh, done in this splash activity now coming back to our what is the error why is it showing error okay so now coming back to our android manifest and uh, first of all let's give this splash let make this splash activity as the main activity i mean the launcher activity so give the intent filter here and change this main activity to default and now what we have to do is we have to assign a theme here so android theme and theme dot app compact dot no action bar okay so this was uh, this in the video i'll meet you in the next video but i'll show you once the review how our apps look so let's run the app so as you can see that this has successfully compiled so i'll see you in the next video